Ad Astra. Uh, it's not going to be a movie I want to watch ever again, really. It was okay enough. It's like, I may buy it on Black Friday next year to see, like, special features in that, because it is stunningly beautiful. I will give it that. I can 100% see why people want to watch this movie in IMAX. It's definitely a movie you would put on to show how great your TV setup is. And I understand what they did in the movie. Is like, the thing I didn't like about the movie was how... Uh, Huge spoiler alert, Tommy Lee Jones has space sickness and everything, and how to handle it. I understand why he did it in the story and everything, but I just don't like it, I don't enjoy it. Uh, the movie kind of drags in some spaces. But, you know, it could just not be my cup of tea. But, as I said, it's one of those movies that you'd want to put on to show how great your TV looks, because it does look wonderful. I'll give it that. And I could edit it for myself. Like, I wouldn't bother publishing it for other people to see. But it would be like a sizzle reel type thing for me. To see the parts I liked. Uh, all the acting was done wonderfully. You know, Brad Pitt, Liv Tyler. Tommy Lee Jones. Kiefer Sutherland. They all did wonderful, in my opinion. Or the Donner Sutherland. I always get those two confused. It was the father of the Sutherlands. Some of the scenes, that's a plane flying overhead. Some of the times were kind of stupid, in my opinion. And I would have done things like maybe a tad different, but then again, I'm not a professional Hollywood person. These people are. And this movie was being praised by critics, but I know, like, Woke Randolph doesn't like it. And she was kind of ba she was trying to bash it in her little movie math thing that she did. I don't I don't actually watch her reviews because you know I'm not going to say she probably really she probably thought like the Asian lady who was the head of the Mars program should have been the focus of the main move main focus of the movie and Brad Pitt shouldn't have been in it because he's a straight white male. That would have been her review of the movie because I saw snippets of her review of Rambo and that, and that's literally what it sounded like. I saw snippets, I saw her review Jurassic World, uh, Battle of Big Rock, that was literally her review. Favorite character was a child, because of a little black girl. Even though everybody else who watched the movie hated the kids. But to get back to this movie, uh, the scene they're using in this picture is only like maybe it felt like maybe a couple minutes. So if it was a good if it was a if it was a good quality movie, then that could have been that scene could have gone on for like twenty or thirty minutes, and it would only feel like a couple. But to me, it felt like maybe like under ten minutes. I don't know why people are constant a huge spoiler alert for the ending. I don't know why everybody is constantly saying, uh, like, these, there's articles and videos about how explaining the end of Ad Astra, there's nothing to explain. Here's how the movie ends Tommy Lee Jones kills himself. Brad Pitt blows up the uh, space, blows up his ship that was causing the problems. He saves the Earth and goes back. And the government hides what he hides what happened, and makes him a hero. And he gets back together with his wife, who is who he, who he was estranged from at the beginning of the movie. That is literally what happened. That was the ending of the movie. So, nothing really to explain. It's kind of flat out, unless you didn't watch the movie. And you weren't paying attention, maybe. That'd be how it worked. So, what would I rate it at? Probably like a B. As I said, I cannot like a movie, but I'll still give it a proper grade. It's like what I said for The Good Boys. I personally would give it a D, but as I said, but people who like comedies and that kind of stuff will probably get like a C plus, maybe. This movie, even personally, I'd give it a B. It's just not one of those Bs that you want to watch. 
over and over and over again. It's like there are videos I see a lot that are saying like movies that you movies that you movies that are good, but you're not going to want to watch more than once. That's what this movie is. It's a good movie that you don't really want to watch more than once. At least in my opinion, I know there are some fans of this movie. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you liked and commented the video because that would help out the channel and that kind of stuff, help people see it. But, you know, I know people who aren't going to agree with me aren't going to want to or don't downvote it. People who don't like the fact that I don't show myself are going to downvote. So, you know, do whatever you want. YouTube's free at the moment. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.